Okay, so, from last time, can someone give me a recap of what happened? And if you do so, I'll give you Bardic Inspiration. I'm going to do the recap because I feel like it makes sense. Yeah, okay. I don't remember much of it anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, so here's the recap from last time. Why did I write this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll just start from the beginning. All right, so we woke up, and Miara was gone, and then everyone had fuzzy memories of what had happened the night before. Uh, Miara had cast a modified memory on herself to basically forget that she ever had that conversation with Lyceria, and Winter was the only one who could hear me at this point after we woke up and when i tried to touch winter it caused winter pain and i tried casting charm person on blade and me talking just ended up hurting him so miara left to get away from everyone uh twice uh was suddenly able to see and hear me compared to everyone else and we were all outside now, and then last year I thought it would be a good idea to go to the bank. So everyone goes over to the bank while I see gets stopped by Blade and um, I want to say Winner, yeah. And Miara went to clear her head, so she went to go lay in a hay, hay bale, and then a voice reached out to her, and she said, okay, yeah, let's adventure with them forever. Sure, why not? So she took his hand, and we woke up again, back in bed, where we were looking to leave town, and twice really wanted to go see the bank, so we stopped there, and twice Winter and Lyceria went in while Blade and Miara waited outside. Winter stayed in the bank a little bit longer to talk to the demon, um, and Winter wanted answers and found out that tampering with the magic caused what was happening right now the demon explained to the best of his abilities that it was like a dream world in a sense and while that was going on miara had a conversation with blade and twice out back you know that was all good uh friends friends you know love then we tried to leave and miara got these weird feelings about leaving and then we tried to leave town zap we're back back in the bunk beds again and miara ends up fighting herself kind of like in a spirit way it was like a shadow part of her that she tried to like modify away with her memory that she didn't want to keep and ended up convincing it that we could move on for... and we can make mistakes and that was it and then we woke back up that's the recap okay. so you all wake up in your bunk beds you're all back to where you were before Blade, you don't remember much beyond that you had a very fuzzy dream. Twice you remember everything, but speaking about it gives you a headache. Um, Miara, you remember you know what you do. Uh, mm -hmm. Winter will not be showing up, so I'm just making their character passive in the sense they will follow you, but they won't do anything. And Lysira will be here later on, so I'll just make it the same way shortly, so. Cool, cool. What well, will you all do? Yeah, as we wake up, um, I mean, I would kind of be crying just softly in her bed. <laughs> Blade, roll me. Blade, roll me a constitution save. Okay. Where is that right there? Uh, 25. You wake up to hear this crying. And Mara uh, jumps. Oh, go ahead. Uh, so Blade hears this crying. Blade's not a fan of when people are sad. He, he gets mm -hmm. very emotional, so it kind of it, it it's not good for him. So he's gonna go over to Miara and just kind of like get on his knees and just like get a nice little hand around like kind of around their neck on the back side and just like soothe them really quick and be like hey what's going on buddy i'm on the top bunk yeah okay so never mind blade is going to <laughs> hold <laughs> remember i was like i, I don't i want to be on the yeah, top yeah, we're bunk buds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay so blade uh, you you just kind of you just kind of pet the bottom bunk they're there it'll be all right <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so Blade's gonna reach up. Not fully awake yet. Start, yeah. Just start like rubbing their back and just saying what's wrong. 
Oh, Blade. And she gives you a big hug. Oh, and well, well, you see is like she gives you a hug um, as she's like breathing out like kind of like trying to like stop herself from crying her like voice her like air like going out is like quivering like in like oh, like breathing out in like waves kind mm -hmm. of yeah uh so noticing this he's kind oh. of like a little bit of a you know Bl Blade is a little bit of a softy so he's gonna just say Hey, crying is okay. It's the best way to get rid of all the bad emotions. How does he say that? She like takes a deep yeah. breath, just like one really big breath, and then like, breathes out. That's good. That's very good. You need breathing. Breathing's good for you. Uh, I like squeeze you tighter. You saved me. Oh, well, that's, I just do that for friends, you know. No need a thing. Okay, as this is being said, mm -hmm. twice, you're yeah. still in a net. <laughs> oh, this point, poor he man. Just he, he just doesn't even say anything, he just sits there waiting for someone to let him free. He's sick of nets, <laughs> he's sick of, try of people trying to <laughs> grapple him. And he's decided he's just going to try and kill the next person who does. Yeah, twice you're stuck Yo, in the I'm net. I'm amazed you don't just rip the net and be like, you guys are never using that shit again. <laughs> you can try. Oh, I will burn this whole tavern down. Okay, I mean... What are you doing twice? You're just going to sit there? I mean, he's just going to sit there. He just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> twice, you have an itching want to smoke. Roll me a uh, wisdom I... save. Oh shit. Um... <laughs> would, the, would the cigarette enter your mouth? <laughs> Alright, hold on. Um... Yeah. Wisdom, wisdom save or wisdom check? Save, brother. Save, okay. What's my wisdom? Oh, okay, I'm fine. I'm chilling. This is... 10. Oh shit. What did we discuss that your counter was? I don't think we did. Oh I think yeah. We just said it would get, I think we just said it would get increasingly more difficult. Oh yeah, DM's choice. You're having a yeah. psychotic episode. Uh... <laughs> so everyone, you, you see as you look at twice, and he's kind of shaking a bit, as you see like him just kind of get very rowdy, as you just see him like literally shaking and convulging, and he doesn't look well at all. He looks like he's in immense pain. Uh, okay, so Blade's gonna stop rubbing Yara. He's gonna like, try to kind of pull her, not pull her off, but like gently peel her arms around from his neck. And just, uh, slowly walk over to twice, keeping him in the net, saying... Are you you good okay? You you, you are you, are you okay? are you okay? Cuz like he's a little freaked out by just how bizarre Twice looks right now. Twice looks up at him and just says, "Who the fuck are you? I'll kill you. Get me out of this net right now." Void goes, "Whoa there, buddy. Whoa. I will <laughs> flay your skin from your still living body. Get me out of this net." See, that wasn't a very nice way of asking. Uh, Blade, I think you should, uh, let him out of the net. Uh, he's gonna whisper to me, alright. Do I have to do it? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, fine. I'll f I face step over to him, make a, uh, <laughs> both of you make a fucking <laughs> wisdom save. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> my 19. 10. Alright, well, Blade, you're charmed by me. Blade, you're fine. Um, but I'm next to you guys now. And I'll be like, Blade, it's fine. You can... We can get... It. We can let him out of the net. He'll calm okay. him down. I don't know why the fuck he's in the net. Honestly, I don't remember. Okay, Blade will... slowly lift the net off twice, trying not to anger him. Once he gets out of the net... 
Make me didn't save twice. Okay. Oh, I win this. There we go, 25. <laughs> Do you wish to regain your composure? Not yet. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be fun. <laughs> Would twice regain his composure seeing that he's going psycho again? Uh, well, it's it's not really him going psycho. It's more his second personality actually coming out because, you know, multiple personalities. personalities. So you take you gotta take your mask off, though. Uh, yeah, mask comes off. Oh, what do we see? What's his face look like? Um, let me just get a picture, because I have one saved somewhere on this computer. For Imagine this Deadpool, moment. but with more burns and less scar marks. Wait, I'm sure that uh, works. Wait, I need a new pen. Uh, pencil, that works. So... Okay, so I, obviously other character, we're meeting twice as, like, other half or whatever right now? Mm -hmm. Essentially. Okay. So okay. as we let you out of the net, yeah. He gets out of the net. He takes the mask, he, he rips the mask off his face and just throws it across the room. I think it just, and just mutters this to himself, why the fuck do I always have this thing on? As he grabs his stuff, his gun, all his stuff, and like kicks open the door to the room and just leaves the inn, just not looking back at either of you. Uh, mm. we should follow him, right? Um, I mean, I guess so. Hopefully, I mean, he doesn't, all, you know, throw a grenade all... at someone. Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing. I know we were sent to like settle the war front. But he's pretty damn deadly, and I think we could use him. Use him? We could Not be in friends. A mean with him. I mean, I mean, yeah, like we could be friends with him and have him on our side. Yeah, That'd yeah, be nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I, I, my intent would never be to control anyone. All right, let's see what he wants to do. Okay, so I guess we all head out because the other two are yeah, just passing. Okay. So you're following him. Yeah. And you're following him down this, you know, down the alleyway, where he's Can going I to. Thoughts? Are you going to pick up his mask on the way out? Uh, blade will hold on to it. You pick up the mask and you go out. So as you follow him, he looks very angry, very, very aggressive, almost like he's trying to go somewhere, but not really. Doesn't look like he's... Looks like he's trying to go somewhere, but he doesn't know where to go. So he's just, like, kind of angrily going in one direction as quickly as possible. Yeah, am I able to detect... Yeah, it's like, detect thoughts. Oh, yes, you can. So, yeah. as you detect thoughts... Twice, I want you to have a conversation inside your head with the two personalities. Oh, shit. Nice. What would they be speaking and talking about? Uh, right, how do I do this? <laughs> Think of it, the way that I viewed your character is that one is in the front seat controlling and the other one's a conscious. Oh yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's the other one's conscious in the back seat. Like a, it's like a, almost, um, what's the fucking grasshopper from Pinocchio? Jiminy Cricket? Um, like a Jiminy oh, Cricket. Yeah. I don't know what that is, bro. I'll be honest. <laughs> He's your conscience. It's Oh, right, so you've got one talking, and okay. Well, right now, like, that good twice, let's say, it just kind of be like, where the fuck are you going? Those guys are your friends. You want to you wanna stay with them because you're all working together. And uh, twice it's in control right now. I don't need to work with anyone. You've, you know what we can do. I could just kill anyone I want from whatever the fuck distance I want to be at, because no one can stop us. Why don't you call so one... why the fuck are you hanging out with these freaks? Why don't you call it one and two? One okay. is taking Which the backseat. One? one is the one with the mask, and two is uh -huh. the alternate. Okay. One replies... Well, yeah, but you found out that they could sometimes rarely be useful 
number one is still sort of pissed about the fact that he just gets netted and grappled all the time. Um, and two just replies, well, whatever, now you're just watching, you don't get to do shit. As he just continues walking um, out towards, like, um, like the ranch where the horses are. Mm -hmm. Wow, we really like this place. <laughs> we love this ranch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, do we know this that he's walking over there? Yeah, yeah, I, we're we're following okay. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm uh, like reading his thoughts right now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna yell to him and just say, uh, "Twice, I I have your mask. I I know it's very important to you." Here, I'll uh, stick the owl bear thing up again for the map. You guys can use it. Immediately for me this time. Nice. Okay, so I heard that conversation, right? Yep, you're next to Blade. So, cool. Good. Um, yeah, twice. Make uh, wisdom save. I'm casting old person on you. Um, okay. That's a 14. Ooh, you fail. You are paralyzed. Okay. And she, I walk up to you. What if I told you I could control you? Make you not know what is reality and what isn't? Let's Does say you're spouting scary bullshit. to you? Okay. Make another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Just cast more fucking spell. Ah, uh, 13. You failed. I'm casting geese on you? Geese? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, I place a magical command on you. Mm -hmm. Refraining you from some action or course of activity as I decide. If that creature understands you, you make the wisdom same throw, you fail. And you're now charmed, and while... If you don't obey the, what I tell you to do, you take 5d10 psychic damage. Each time you act in a manner that doesn't act in the instruction that I gave you. And how long does that last? 30 days. <laughs> You're kidding, no way. No, I'm dead fucking serious. Are you sure it's not a 30 day cooldown? 30 days. 30 days. So I'm gonna tell you. Geese? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tell you. you the, commands, allowed... the commands have to be very specific, otherwise yeah, it doesn't I'm really I'm going to be very specific. Yeah, I got it. You are not allowed to use your gun in any way unless I tell you to. That's it. Which gun? Any gun. <laughs> I said any gun. That's a good response. Unless I tell you to. Okay. That's it? Uh, Blade... I'm assuming Blade saw this happen, but probably didn't hear it because he wasn't paying attention. Um, you're just gonna say, are we good now? Can, can we can we go to that town we're supposed to go to? I think it was called Blackwater or Black something? Mm-hmm. Blackwater, just right, Blade. That's why we're both buddies and best friends right now. Vice gets up and walks the other direction from you guys. Or is he still paralyzed? Oh, you may, you have to make one again. Oh, another wisdom save. Alright. Oh, you're kind of stuck there. Uh, 19. You're good. Yeah, he gets up and walks the opposite way that you guys would be going. Cool. You can move your token. He's gonna go in towards the horse ranch, like inside, and <clears throat> find the guy who works there. You see a bunch of dead horses. <laughs> <laughs> it's morning. Well, like this is a brand new day, right? Yeah. It's like. Yep. Break it down. Yeah. Everything's dead, rotting. Yeah. Let's um. 
hope a train I, uh, comes by here soon. I um, think we should go yeah, twice. Look I understand it. you're going through a lot emotionally right now, and you won't wear your mask. But I want to let you know I'm here for you. And twice I want cuts you off. To know. Twice cuts blade off and says, "Shut the fuck up." I swear to God, I will stab you in the eye. Okay, so <laughs> Blade was gonna <laughs> run and give you a bear hug, but now. <laughs> yeah, Blade, Blade not is, not the Blade time. is just gonna look down, <laughs> look at me R really quick, and just say, "I thought I was being helpful." Ah, uh, he needs time right now. I think. What do they view like to make an insight check? Yeah, I'd love to. Go for it. Sure. Why not? Let's roll. Minus two. Oh, wait, I got a... It's three. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, an awesome. Six. <laughs> it looks like twice. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, um, uh, did you give us a mask back? Or, I mean, I... did you give us a mask back? Yeah. What? His mask. Did you give it back to him? Like uh, it's... no. He doesn't want to get near me, so I'm just gonna hold on to his mask for now. Uh, okay. I, I'm also gonna, uh, gesture over to twice and just say, if you, if you feel like you ever want your mask back, um, I have it. Mm. And twice I just guess, shoots uh... him like a death glare. <laughs> I'm gonna just end it on shoots him. Um... I will, I will not... <laughs> I will not talk to anybody who throws up after seeing blood. Alright, well I just got a sense to the stomach, but... Um, okay, uh, <laughs> I think we're ready to go. Uh, twice, you, you can you can join us later, I know you'll come back. He rolls his eyes and but, just walks with the others, not having much else to do. Blade's gonna start walking this way, uh, whichever way the train is. I mean, we just gotta wait at the train station and hope a train comes. Here's the thing. I want all of you to look at the map. The railroad tracks? All of you to look at the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. So, at the Temperance Country map, you see that there is Twin Bank. To the west is a path, a road that leads to Trinity, otherwise known as Paradise Lake. Or you can take the right path, which leads to Alabasta. However, Blackwater is on the train tracks. So you would need to take... You would either need to follow the train tracks from the trail oh, of... I thought we got dropped off... We all got dropped off on a train, so I thought... You got dropped off from a like sea train, train to Twin Bank. Oh, a sea train. And... Okay. There was men who told you of trains around the area. However, you would need to find a train station. The stations that exist are in Trinity, Blackwater, and Crowhaven. Honestly, I think our best bet. As well as Camp Starfall. You know that there is a city over in Never, as in to never go there, at the world's yeah, yeah. end. You also know that the heart of the conflict is in Trinity, and you also know that there is some strange occurrences going on in Alabasta. But oh, like, where would we go to uh, the people who hired us? I want to know exactly like what their intentions are for us to do. Or the intentions, the intentions of the people that hired you wanted you to somehow make the. Currently, it's a coldish war. It's slowly becoming hot in the sense that the conflict is improving enough to make it so that civil, the civil powers of the world and the civil people are getting dragged into the conflict, slowly making it go hotter and hotter each day. Okay. They want you to defuse the situation so that their oil is not put into, you know, jeopardy and so they can continue their business there between the two groups. They want you to somehow stop it, somehow. And where is their base of operation? Oh, In a different it. country. Different fucking country? Alright, fuck their shit. I, I think we just go in and do it. Oh, are you asking, here. like, where their, like, trading posts are? Um, yeah, they have, how could we get into contact with, yeah. With they, have, they have a doc. Roll me a history check. Or have 
do I know like ha have enough information of one of the people to be able to like send like a sending spell to them? Like I don't know. You wouldn't know them. Check? You wouldn't know them enough to make a sending spell, but you can make a history check okay. based on where their dockings are. I will make are. a history check. Okay. Let's see. Please. Oh, that's really good. Twenty three. Okay. First two things. You know their docking station is in Freeport, meaning that that's where they take all their ships and shipping of oil and such, and the drums that they carry it with. Okay. You also know yeah. that is the main dock in which they do a lot of shipping at. However, they only asked you to make the war not go hot. Keep it cold. Keep it simple. Either just make it so it doesn't go hot, is all they're asking. Not so much to solve the conflict, just keep it from going any further. Blowing up. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you've been hired to do, all either through coin information or something you need from that company. With the history check, do I know any of places like in or around like Trinity or Blackwater or Alabaster that there's like these outposts? Or you wouldn't know the outposts thing? that are near there, like New Fortune or Luck Lady or Camp Starfall. You wouldn't know any of the outposts, because you okay. guys don't have a map, nor have you really explored that okay. much. But you do okay. know that there is vague areas. So, like, you know in Trinity, uh, from rumors around town, that generally speaking, unless you really are looking to, like, go to the heart of the enemy, you probably shouldn't be going there. Okay. You know that you know that Blackwater has yeah. some weird trades going on it in it, as well as some issues that relate to this town. If you want to know more, explore around this town some more. Maybe you'll find them. But you okay. also know that Alabasta is on the road and is probably one of the safer options to head to first. I think we should go to Blackwater. I mean, I, I was ready for that. Yeah, let's, let's go. Because, like, depending on the information that we get to Blackwater, we could either go to Alabaster or Trinity from there because railroad tracks or, you know, quick hike. You were, you were also warned if you don't follow a trail, the desert gets extremely dangerous. Yeah. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. So but, yeah, Blackwater I think is our destination. Yep. So are you going to follow the Ox River to Alabasta and then take the train tracks to Blackwater? Yes. I believe so. Sure. That makes the most sense. Okay. So Yeah, can we you... like hitchhike a train when we get to the railroad track? You can I try. Think? There's always a try. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So, you're making away. your... What's up? I said away. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Also, geese is pronounced gesh, not geese. Gesh. Okay. Interesting. Or geesh. Geesh. I like geesh. Quiche of geesh. Yeah, you <laughs> remember me of geesh, exactly. <laughs> geesh, geesh. Quiche, you say? So, as you are all heading out of town, you realize as you're heading out of town, there is still some posters on the sheriff board for bounties. Would you like to do these bounties before you leave, or would you like to not? Uh, can we just, uh, like, pick up Blade, the bounties? Blade wants the bl no, Blade wants the block view of this with his massive body, and just keep <laughs> them on track to go. I mean, but, like, we can take the bounty posters with us, because we might see them somewhere, you know, and, like, be able to get the money. It's a, it's a local bounty. Hmm. Blade's gonna say... No, we, we've we been getting sidetracked way too much. We I mean, to but there's also that, like, money that, I, like, I, I'm, like, 100,000% sure there's more money buried no, where, like, like, that dynamite that, blew up. Oh, I don't know that. Um, <laughs> <sighs> Hearing the word there's money a... twice lifts his head. Where? 
uh, where that dynamite blew up at like that bandit camp, they totally had a bunch of stuff buried there, and it was great. Perfect. Definitely let's tons go. of treasure. He just cuts I... her off. Just says, "Let's go." Okay. Yeah, it's a short detour. So yeah, let's go. I guess we head over to the bandit camp. Sure. Okay. So you head over to the bandit camp, and when you come back to the bandit camp that you were at before, you do see that it's been ransacked. Can I roll investigation or insight or something to see if there's anything left? You can. Which one? Investigation. Can uh, I also roll investigation? Did you all roll investigation? Uh, <laughs> two at max. Oh. I rolled right, 18. Okay, oh, so... Oh, I bad. 17. Okay, twice. So, you see, there's only one hole that is not dug, one mound of dirt left. He goes and digs it up. Okay. Um, I need you to roll... roll... a deck save. No, it's not a deck <laughs> save, actually. Strength save? Con save? Which one is it? Which trap have I fallen into? <laughs> it's a wisdom save. Oh, but, uh, always. Uh, nat 20. Wow. You got a nat 20 <laughs> on your whiz save. You do. Yeah. Do. Okay, so... You see this coming ahead of time as you dig and sift through the dirt, and you see a blackish void underneath that dirt, and you slide your hand past, pushing the dirt away as this was a shadow trap. Boom! Out from it pops a small bomb. Died, I, run! Can I throw it at Blade? Can I grab it and throw it oh, up shit, at Blade? Oh shit, I died. If you want to grab it, make me a sleight of hand. Actually, no, oh, not Blade. No. I'm going to throw it at Miara because she's the one who has him under control. Make me a so sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, okay. Come on, game. Don't fuck me over here. 14. No. Your no. hand slips as you try to grab it and you end up thwacking it to the ground in front of your feet. Uh, can I try, like, throwing <laughs> myself away from it? Wade's going to yell, kick it away! Shut the fuck up! Um, what are you gonna do? You're gonna dive. Or you're gonna kick. He's gonna dive. Maybe a survival check. Survival. Here it comes. Holy shit! Well, I've never rolled survival. I don't think. Uh, that's a twenty-three. Ooh. You throw yourself to the ground as it explodes. None of the shrapnel hits you as you are completely fine. Amazing. Great. Can I go back to the hole and see if there's any gold? However, there is still a shadow trap there as it dis has not disappeared yet. Hey, uh, Miara, can you take a look at this? This thing looks like it has something in it. Uh, can I do an Arcana check? Let me see what the mm -hmm. fuck this is. Hmm? Or something? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Roll ah. up, roll up. 15. Shadow trap. Yes. Shadow fucking traps um how about shadow, just leave it alone you, and just say you know that shadow traps can be discerned by having some kind of radiance or light to counteract them they're very simple to deal with uh uh blade has an idea uh blade would like to take out his holy symbol did anyone say this to blade uh, oh god would yes, you say it to blade? i would tell them what it is yes okay <laughs> Alright, so Blade would like to take out this holy symbol. Uh, he doesn't have a god that he prays to right now. He's kind of in between because he doesn't know what he's looking for. So he's just going to say, uh, Darkness vanish? Nothing happens. Oh, nice. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Blade's There's ready clearly to go. nothing left. Alright, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Is there like a stick or something that's nearby? Sure, there like, is. Are you serious? There's a broken bush, like a w dead it bush. Picks, you were relentlessly annoying with trying to get gold. You take look. You take the stick. Bro, you're t you're, you're quite literally talking to a chaotic evil character right you now. You take the stick. What are you gonna do? He's gonna poke at the shadow trap. Another bomb comes out. Whooshing. Gonna try I'm gonna take like again. 30 feet run. away. I'm running. Try, I'm out of there. Gonna, yeah, Blade is also running. What are you doing twice? He's gonna try and pelt it at Miara again. Uh, Sleight of hand. Come on, games. 
20. You manage to grab it. Throw. Make me an athletics check. Oh, I have plus one on this. Come on. Nice. I'm going to do something about this. So <laughs> okay, oh, so that's terrible. You try <laughs> to throw this, and you... You fuck it up so bad that instead of throwing it in front of you, you toss it right down into your feet as it explodes. Uh, how much damage? Well, I gotta roll that first. <laughs> I just want you to know that. This is you right. literally did this to yourself. This, this, this is only on its fault. You take what? twenty. You take twenty-five. You take twenty-five damage as you throw a bomb at your feet. Mm -hmm. If she hadn't placed that spell, he wouldn't be trying to kill her. What do you mean, bro? Wait I'm trying second. to no, show you that you're no. not fucking invincible. This, this is all no. your stupidity twice. I'm sorry, but the hard truth has to come out. This no, is not no. a good idea. Twice he's just pissed that he got a spell placed, a slave spell placed on him. <laughs> so twice you take 25 damage as you throw it at your feet and it blows up. Ooh. Vice just sighs and walks back towards the others. Can we go now? I need uh, you to yeah, make I'm me a to... constitution save, though, real quick. Make sure your legs aren't broken. Oh, I got an eight. Oh, oh no. You have eight. a... You have... I got to carry him. You have two broken legs. Congratulations. Hey, what? Yes, All right, he's riding on Lyceria for sure. <laughs> Is anyone gonna try to repair his legs? Uh, I can't. I, I, I mean, no, I can't. He will need a medicine check to set the Ooh. cast, and then you'll need to do a cure wounds if you want to accelerate the healing process. And twice, just do the medicine check on himself, like setting his bones himself. You can if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I mean, twice is a hitman. He knows how Go to for do it. this stuff. 16. Nice. Okay, you managed to set your legs within a rudimentary cast of sticks, wood, rope, and sort of like a splint. Yeah. Yeah, and right. now you just need some kind of healing cure wounds or potion to accelerate the process. Uh, Perfect. quick yeah, character question, just to kind of fuck twice over for doing bad ideas. Can mm -hmm. he get half movement for having to waddle with his legs stuck in a stiff he does I mean, I think he's riding on Lyceria. He's, he's, like he's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You don't get... Legs, I don't like you don't move, get I movement. Think. You're, you're yeah, a cripple. You don't get movement as a cripple. Right unless you fly. He's a cripple that can't even draw his gun. <laughs> unless I tell him to. Yeah, you do realize you have no, you're, you're getting no help next time you guys get in a fight, right? Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> I don't know why you're blaming us. Bro, you stopped twice from taking out his gun for no reason. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, what? He was walking out of the tavern and he got slave spelled. Look, I heard the conversation. Don't worry about it. It can so, be fixed. As you all head out of the city, a crippled man riding on horseback who's put under a Gesh spell. You all walk out throughout the desert. Time to roll some d20s. Yep. Yeah. Okay. For on my side. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, encounter rolls. Okay. So as you're walking through the desert, you find yourself this river of the Ox River. As you're kind of walking along this trail, you know, seeing the muddy river go down, and you're seeing the nice beauty of the desert. The sun, the cacti, the different bushes and tumbleweeds, birds in the sky. It looks very pleasant as the weather is all around you. However, now I need all of you to make me an intelligence save. Oh. 24. Nat 20. But it's a 19. Wow. <laughs> Surely this gash spell has like a concentration thing, right? No, no it's it's it's, it's, it's no instantaneous and passive. Yeah, you just have to. Yeah, that's it. I mean, unless you want to take damage, but it's gonna hurt a lot. Twice, you might have things looking up for you. Choose me a number between one and nine. Seven. 
<laughs> okay. So, here's what happens. You feel a headache come over yourself. As upon doing that, as you feel this headache, I need you to make me another intelligence save. Fifteen. You fail. You have an immense urge to smoke again. Yeah, I pull out a cigarette and smoke it. And as you smoke it, your personalities are switched. Fantastic. One is now in control. As this also happens, you see a bolt of lightning come from the sky and strike you out of nowhere. This bolt of lightning leaves inside your hand a card face down in your hand. You take no damage from the bolt of lightning. Okay, can I look at the card without making sure any, no one else sees it? As you look at the card, you've drawn a, a card from the deck of many things, which a god of me has bestowed upon you. Upon doing so, you now have permanent advantage on persuasion checks. Shit, let's go, okay. No. Wait, I don't get anything, I rolled a you, 20. You got, <laughs> well it's not pr advantage, it is um, proficiency, so if you want to change that in your skill settings, you're proficient in persuasion now. So not can... expertise, pr proficiency. Proficient. Okay, in persuasion. Yes. Gotcha. Just persuasion. Yeah. However, Blade, because you got a nat 20... Um... I don't want to force you to do anything. It was more of a joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not affected by whatever comes next. Okay. Because you can see ahead and scat out things, and you're not affected by the Waste's current form. I guess, you know, everyone else roll me another intelligence save. Apparently the dice love you today. Oh. Oh my god, no way. You're insane. Oh, it's, I think it's in that one. Ooh. <laughs> That's okay. that one for me. I rolled higher than everyone, Jesus. Like, oh, the, I got a 14. Blade. A godly bolt of lightning has stricken you. <laughs> there is a card within your hand. Yeah. I don't know uh, why the deck what? rolled two nat 20. I don't know why I rolled two nat 20s for the deck. Jesus. So is uh, a nat 20 a deck of many things? Yes. Thing? Oh, shit. Blade Roll is going to... One through nine. Pick a number. Uh, one through nine? I'm gonna do one through eight and just roll a d8. Didn't play roll a four? It's an eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you single-handedly defeat the next enemy you encounter, you will get an instant level up. If okay. you do not, however, you will lose this effect. Okay. Uh, so Blade's gonna get some quick confidence and just be like, Guys, I know I've been kind of a... And he's gonna lower his voice. A pussy. But I, I <laughs> swear... I got the next bad guy, okay? I can do You, you know that on the net... You have extreme confidence for, like, killing this next thing. And as it just so happens... Um, I need all of you to roll me a perception check. Plus two, baby. Okay, twelve. <laughs> so, each of these encounters is like a few hours apart from each other. Twenty-five. So, a few hours pass, and you're kind of up the river. You can see in the distance, like, the hedgings of a town... And then you can also see, in a little bit further on, there is, like, a little railroad track that you can see. So you're getting close. You're getting close to an intersection point. Um, who rolled the lowest? Blade, you got 12. Blade. As you're all walking, Blade, you feel a sharp pain in your neck. And then you feel your vision kind of go out as 
you are quickly catched and lowered to the ground softly. Everyone else, you're kind of walking, and you're I'm just... I'm not walking. You're on a horse. Um, you are moving forward at a steady pace, but you don't realize this immediately. Blade's gonna try to yell, even though he probably can't. You're knocked out. Yeah. Wait, so am I back, am I back to normal now? No. No? You're, so... you're twice one. Yeah, so I'm back to what? So, what's going on with Blade? So, you all... Out of character, Blade got knocked down and is getting kidnapped currently. In character, you all are carrying on. Do you notice that something is a bit more, like, quiet, but you don't understand what? As you guys keep moving forward twice, you realize your legs Wait. are broken from the previous incarnation of your... I... Huh? I didn't notice from a 25 perception that, like, he wasn't there? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, Soon, okay. but not yet. I was like, damn. You know that something's off. And that's why I to answer your question. You have woken up, and now you're in the driver's seat, but both your legs are broken. Well, uh, I'm realizing that twice just kind of face palms and says, that idiot. You also don't have your mask. Now that's a little concerning. He turns to Mira and says, where's my mask? Uh, I told Blade to give it back to you, but he was like, Hey, it's a good idea to keep the mask, because I'll keep it safe. So I was like, okay, Twice. that's fine. You Twice know? times to look at Blade. Blade isn't there. Yeah, Blade. Wait, Blade, where are you? Blade. <laughs> where the fuck is that idiot now? You notice a little ways back a carriage with some men and some horses kind of wearing, you know, some, like, bandit gear with some large feet hanging out the back of the carriage. Weiss quickly reaches for his gun, not knowing that he's under a fucking slave spell. He reaches for his gun to shoot at them. I... Take the damage. I... Yep. Was... What do I roll? Two, two what? I have oh, D10. I uh, only 22. You are hit for 22 psychic damage as you are instantly given a mind grain. Weiss just cries out, what the fuck? As he, I assume, his, drop, his gun drops to the ground. You yeah. didn't drop your gun, you just reached for it. You didn't pick it up yet. Uh, okay. You're like, ah! Like, as it just hits you right then and there, as you try to touch your gun. Yeah. What the fuck happened? This is in character. You know what the fuck just happened. No, I don't fucking- I don't fucking know, you idiots. So, why the fuck? what- what? That I wasn't me. You. Just... draw your gun. <laughs> fucking idiot. Twice draws his gun, and... <laughs> Have you given him permission? Yeah. He said draw, draw your gun, didn't say anything else, so as he goes to shoot, I assume he takes more damage. No, you're good. I said draw your gun, you're good. Draw my gun. That's your new command. Yeah. I thought the yes, but the I thought he's the allowing you to draw your gun. He's allowing you to use yeah. your gun. Okay, well then he just aims and how many are? Uh, where are they? How far away? They are sixty feet away, and there's a carriage with multiple horsemen around it. I need you to roll to see if you hit. Oh, easy. Okay, hold on. If um, you want to aim at a specific thing, um, give me a perception check with that roll. How many horsemen are there? Three. Um, is there any way of seeing the driver? The ho the, the driver. The no, carriage? it's a um, it's a tarped carriage. Can I eyeball it? That's why I'm saying if you want to aim specifically, roll me a perception with this initiative ro with this um not oh, initiative right, with this okay. hit check. So roll to see if you hit first, and if you do hit, I'll allow you to roll perception to aim. Okay. Twenty three. You would hit. Now roll me your perception to aim. Twelve. Oof. It's a little bit hard at this distance with moving targets, but you can still roll me your damage. Okay. Um... Thirteen. Okay, now I need to roll... a d6. 
Oh, I might hit blade. Well, I said. Blade, you've been shot in the foot. You're now awake. Okay. okay, so that's 13 damage. One second. So, Blade, as you're shot in the foot, you instantly wake up, but realize that you're in the back of some kind of carriage surrounded by a bunch of men that are... that don't realize you're awake, but you were shot in the foot by a gun. Uh, Blade, immediately waking up scared as fuck, is just gonna go balls to the wall's rage. Because he has no idea where he is, he does not know these people. He just got shot in the fucking foot. Okay, so you're raging, what are you gonna do when you rage? Uh, so I'm going to try to get that level up and attack the first person I saw. The driver, roll me to see if you hit. Okay, I'm gonna use my great axe. Mm -hmm. 18. You hit him? Do you have two attacks per action? I do. Plus, I'm in a rage, so I don't know if that gives me another one. No, it doesn't give you another one, but no. it does increase. Okay. Uh, based upon your rage state, your pluses give add to your hit damage. Okay. So, roll again then? Yep. I do have two attacks for action. Uh, 13. Doesn't hit. One minute. Okay. I was just getting a quick drink of water. Okay, so... You... Slash into the driver. As you do, you split him down the middle like a banana peel. Guts and flesh flying everywhere as you kill him. And as he does so, he swerves the horses over. The horses swerve and end up tripping on a rock and fling the cart on its side. As you are shunted to the ground with a large crash. Okay. Can I, like, uh, stop our carriage? Hmm? Can I stop our carriage from, like, going forward? What do you mean, well, stop like, your carriage? carriage? You're not in a oh, carriage. Oh, we're not in a carriage. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you're, just, you're standing, like, 60 to 70 feet away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot we're not in one. I was like, for some reason, I thought we were in one. It's if you like consider Lysira a carriage, I guess. Uh, yeah, not really. No. Um. So. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't fucking know. Blade, you still uh, have the rest of your turn left. Yeah, okay, so... I'm assuming this is Theater Divine right now, so I'm going to move... I'm gonna move... <laughs> yeah, Bl Blade's lost it, so he's just gonna move to the next closest person and try to attack them. You have to get your way out of the tarp first, so... Roll me... Eth... Roll me... And just, just roll me a strength save to get out of the tarp. Like you're ripping through it. 19. You tear through the tarp with your axe, and you are now in front of everyone. The gunners all kind of look at you like, what the fuck just happened? And they're going to attempt to shoot you. Okay. I, One, three, and seven. Me. They don't hit you. <laughs> they just misfire. <laughs> Blade takes this as a challenge and just roars. So, Miara, you see your friend is just Dis just wrecked this guy and now is getting surrounded by three horsemen. Are you going to move towards him? Uh, nah, just from where I'm at, I'm just gonna, like, attack one of them. If I can see him from where I'm at. How much the range of your spells? Uh, 120 feet. You can see them. They're 60 feet away. Perfect. I'll, I'll send down a spectral ghost hand that's gonna just, like, grasp at his heart. Mm hmm Okay, does it as a save, or... or... Uh, 22 to hit. You hit him. Or... Uh, 8 necrotic damage. As you grasp his heart, you cause it to freeze up, and you see that he just freezes and falls off his horse and dies. Shit. Um, twice, do you want to make another shot? 
Okay. Don't you roll to hit twice as well? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry um, I skipped your second shot. You're fine. 20 and... 30. Okay. Um... <clears throat> roll me... Again to hit yeah. The... Game. Oh wow, 13 again. Roll me your Game's second perception. 20. Okay, roll me your two uh, damage hits. 15 and... 16. So the first shot shoots the... shoots one of the horses in the side as it gets scared and dashes off as one guy gets stumbled away. And your second shot lands to hit the guy who fell off his horse directly in the head and pop it straight through. Right, um, and I'm just really quickly going to use bonus action second wind. Okay. Um, regain, let's see, 12 HP, perfect. Do roll me a d20 for your misfire. Uh, I don't think I misfire because I my weapon's imbued. Repeating shot, it's magical bullets, so it doesn't need to load anything. Oh yeah, we discussed that before. It's not a yeah. reloading. Okay, never mind. You found a way around that misfire score. Yes, I did. Now it is Blade's turn. There's only one guy left on a horse. Okay, so <laughs> uh, up to you, of course, the end. But uh, Blade wants to run over to the horse as fast as he can punch the horse in the face and then try to grab the guy by the neck and ask him who the fuck are you uh sure roll me to hit an unarmored strike sure thing uh 27 to hit roll me your damage 6 <laughs> <laughs> you clock the horse across the face and knock it out cold as you just grab this guy by as he's coming down off the horse, you grab him by his, like the cuffs of his neck, and you're holding him up. Yeah. Roll me intimidation check. Uh, okay. Give me one second. Uh, I think I have. You can roll me intimidation with advantage. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to bum, check. Bum, bum. Yeah, nine. No. <laughs> Fine. Thirteen. Oh, that's what I could do. You are slightly intimidating, but he's more freaked out about what just happened to his comrades, and he's not able to speak fluently. Okay, so now here's where Blade shows his second personality. Uh, Blade's gonna come <laughs> out of his rage, put him down gently, and say, "Hey there, bud. I'm sorry about that before, but here's the thing: you kind of kidnapped me." And I'm kind of really trying to know who the fuck sent you. He passed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there any check I can make to wake him up? <laughs> you can Head punch him. Unarmored strike to slap him. Okay. Can I do non-lethal? Um... There's technically no non-lethal damage in D&D. Can I roll to shoot the guy in the head? Uh, it's a close shot, I know that much. I will allow you... Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin. See who goes... first why, in this. Why? <laughs> Fucking why? <laughs> because twice is pissed at you guys, so he's gonna take it out on other people. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails. Heads it is. Make your shot, see if you hit. Uh -huh. 22. Roll me perception. Do I guess I roll my second shot just in case? You said a shot. Ah, uh, fair enough. Perception, come on, game. Nat fucking 20. As you shoot this man in the face, you shoot him right between. You shoot him at the temple as it goes through, and it corks his it corks his head as his eyes explode from the impact shooting blood out onto blade yes thank you as it corks out the other side spewing it out like a watermelon 
Uh, Ooh, nice uh, shot. Nice shot. So, Blade is now... He's out of his rage. Blade is now absolutely petrified. Handshaking. He just saw this guy's fucking head get exploded in front of him. So and Don't forget he, the fact that his, the guy's eyeballs blew up straight into his, his face. His, oh, Blade will never forget. His, his gray matter is leaking out of his head like red Kool-Aid and Jello. Yeah, so here's what Blade's gonna do. Blade is going to immediately dart from 70 feet, look and see twice. And he's gonna sprint towards twice. What is and your think it, what is your movement speed? Uh, 40, so... I'll you, if did. you dashed, you'd make it there. See, you dash and you just start fucking Leroy Jenkins and yourself right over to him <laughs> as oh you are gosh. charging. Twice, you see this man turn, like, breakneck, split, turn his head towards you through your sights, and is darting towards you, like, fucking running, like... Can I take my second shot at him? I have, to, I have, a, I have a second shot. Can I, can I shoot him in the leg or something to slow him down? You really want to shoot... Absolutely. Can... Okay, can I do something? That, mind <laughs> you, that, that guy seems like he's out for bullet. I mean, Miara... You can take your second shot, though. Are he, you wanting he, to do he anything? Yeah, okay. he can take a second shot, but uh, uh, I'll do something right after. Okay, roll, see if you hit. Nat 20. <laughs> okay, roll me your damage. Oh no, I'm sorry, Blade. That's I double see. damage, roll another. No, double is... If it's double damage, it just times it by two. So that's 26. Okay. You take I'm 26... I'm for his knee. I'm aiming for his knee specifically. You take... 26 damage as it grazes into your leg past your knee and cuts the piece of flesh off the side of it. Yeah, Blade goes into a rage again. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you're yeah, taking... Uh... I rolled a nat 20. Why isn't that going straight through his knee and making him fall on the ground? This Blade goes into a fucking rage. <laughs> Well, yes, but if, if, no, I know, but like, in that Blade 20, yells, like, you're gonna have to oh. fucking kill me if you want to stop me. In this context, no, no. The, in this context, the nat twenty was to aim to hit his leg. You were able to hit his leg, and I said his knee. Okay, Blade, you're shot a bullet straight through your knee as you fall down. Oh, God. Blade still goes into a rage, but now you have a bullet blood. hole through your kneecap. As you go into a rage, you are crawling towards him. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's just tell Lyceria to start fucking walking to get the fuck away from him. <laughs> Lyceria isn't uh, moving. How, can I have a kind of idea how far they are now? You're about 30 feet away from them. Lyceria refuses to move. He's like, nah, fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna run and get within 30 feet for I can phase step. Next to, um, fucking twice. I want to throw a hand axe at twice. I actually want to throw two at twice. <laughs> okay, uh, roll me to see if you hit. 25. Uh-huh. Uh, 28. Uh, yep. Don't you crit on 19s? Uh, let me check. I actually might. Um... Or is that a level 15 thing? That might be a higher level thing. Okay. Wait, I don't... Yeah, I don't that, have is that, that. Is that oh, a barbarian wait, thing? Is no. Is that a barbarian no, thing? It's a barbarian and fighter thing. I Do I have, have that, that no. in the other campaign? Uh, you... To my knowledge, maybe you do. It depends how far you've specced into barbarian. Bro, I've specced, uh... I've specced all... Everything's barbarian. I'm all barbarian, like, one level druid. Okay, so you're taking... Two hand axes are going into your... One is chopping into your chest. And the other one hits your casted leg. You take 16 damage. As they graze past and cut you up. Man, you are making a mistake. Oh, wait. Uh, that's also not 16. That is... Oh, yeah. Two. I get plus three melee damage with strength weapons when I'm raging. That's an extra six it, damage, okay. Let me make sure it didn't add it already. Miara, are no. you wanting to do anything? Yeah, I wanted to face step in between both of them for where 
if they're both if I can get them both within t ten feet of me, uh, I'd like them both to make a wisdom saving throw. Not possible, possible to get both of us. If not, then I will get uh, closest to um, twice. Yeah. So who's close to? Okay. And then for, yeah, make another wisdom one. saving throw. <laughs> I two, but I guess you're not going for me, so I'm sure. Ten. Uh, you are charmed and incapacitated. Movement speed is zero. You are can't move. Is this bleed or twice? I mean, you are on my series. Yeah, movement, so. my movement speed was already zero. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean. Is this bleed or twice? You can't take any actions. Uh, twice. 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 You, you're just down. You're just knocked out. Yeah. Uh, Blade will now come out of his rage again, his second rage, and he's going to start calming down, assess the situation, look at his leg, and go, what the fuck? And then he's yeah. going to look around, he's going to see his hand axes in twice, and be like, oh no, no, Can... no, no. no. Anyone, I need one of you to roll me a medicine check on his knee. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out He's cold. Out. You, can I ask other character what your medicine check bonus is? I have a plus two. I have a plus yeah, five. Yeah, please. I have a minus two. <laughs> uh. Oh shit. Do I wanna, if I check his knee, though, like it's gonna. You can. Gonna you can or... roll to check his knee. Before you make the medicine check. Oh, okay. Uh, is it fucking like blown out? Like, is there's a bullet? Not, it's not it. It's not blown out. Like exploded. There's just a um small bullet hole shot through it. Oh. Oh shit! I blade. I wish I could heal you. I. I don't know healing magic. <laughs> I don't. I don't know any. Too bad you knocked out the guy who knows how to deal with bullet holes. No Too bad that guy this. also shot him. Well, Nat yeah, he was twenty on my medicine check. Okay. Take care of his uh, knee. So what happens is that I got you because you got a nat twenty. You were able to find a dislodged piece of bone, put it back in place, and you somehow without magic. It was able to restore parts of his cartilage as you sew the knee shut and you also make it so that he is in a knee cast. Roll me wow. a... for the knee cast, to how effective it would be. Roll me... Survive. Survive. No. I need you to roll me, um... performance. Really? Negative two, let's go. Eleven. <laughs> okay, so you you make a you make a knee cast with a barely functioning ligament supporter. It will last mm -hmm. for a couple of hours, but it will break down beyond then. So for right now, with a crutch, you're able to somewhat hobble yourself. But you cannot run, and your reduced movement speed to half. Okay, so I have twenty feet now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Blade, just stay next to me. We'll, we'll, I'll keep you safe. Uh, Best I can. Blade's, Blade's like, he, yeah, buddy. Uh, c can we check on twice? I have his mask, and I, I think I heard him. How about you just like, he's still like stuck right here. You should just like put it back on his face. Um. Okay, can can okay. he can hear I'm us by the way, him. and he can talk yeah. if he wanted to. I, he's just kind of just being quiet. Oh, he's, he's unconscious. Near him. Well, well, incapacitated. You're not unconscious. You're just like not able to use. Action, you're so. you're locked out. You're frozen and you're frozen in place, but you can't. You can still yeah. talk, but you can't do anything. Yeah, I, thought I, I thought he was unconscious. No, no, no. Incapacitated. I, no, someone said incapacitated doesn't mean you're unconscious. Unconscious now. Okay. I don't think. So, I, don't, I don't think so. You slip the mask back on as you feel the mask come over your face again twice. As you feel calmness wash over you, you're no longer agitated. You can think straight again. 
right. you also realize you just shot your friend in the knee. So you are charmed by me. You can hear and talk still, like you're good. You just can't move. Basically. Can I roll anything against this charm? No, it, no. If it works, you're just stuck until I move out of five feet from you. Like you're just stuck. You, you can't take any actions. Feet, you went to you... blade. Yeah, I can't take any actions, but I did heal his knee, so that's what I was gonna say. Like so. So, if... here's what I'm gonna say. Twice, you're just getting up, but you're groggy. It's hard to think. You're still in control, but you have the mask on, so you're a lot calmer now. But you just realized you shot Blade in the knee. Um, twice turns to Blade and says, Sorry, I was aiming for Miara. Uh, Blade looks at twice and away. says, Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Uh, well, he's still stuck on the ground or whatever. No, I'm you're... You're able. My... You're, um, yeah. yeah. You're able but to stand twice, up with crutches. Twice just kind of pulls the two axes out of him and just like holds them out to blade. It's like all good. I've had worse. Okay. Uh, blade takes the hand axes, walks away, and kind of feels ashamed. Oh, not much not much for you to be ashamed about. The man shot you in the knee. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah twice just says something. Hey, don't... Out of character, Blade is a soft boy. So yes. when he turns on his friends or allies or whatever, he's going to be very annoyed at himself. Like, yeah, uh, twice just kind of like so... noticing this. Twice just kind of says, hey, don't be too hard on yourself. It happens. Yeah, just casually your friends just shoot each other in the knee. It happens. I mean, my friends <laughs> do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, twice as friends do. As you all carry on, um, pull up the encounter list. Let's see here. Nothing. The kidnappers are away, and you come across a lone traveler. He's on horseback, and he seems to be some kind of wearsman of sorts. And he says, well, well, to see if he has any healing potions. Well, hi of there. You're going on this trail there, here? It's a mighty nice river you're going on. Would you all be in the business of wanting to do some trading? Uh, I mean, yeah, lost. definitely. Absolutely. Can I cast Charm Person on him? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I have to. Sure. It is their character. Wisdom 17. <laughs> it is what I do. Let's see if he passes. It is going to be taught my goal from now on to find an item that stops me from being charmed. <laughs> 10. For the rest. So. For the rest yeah. Of the day. He, he says, well, how did they arrive? How you been doing? It's uh, been a little while, my friend. Oh yeah, we're just—we'd love to see what you got. What you? What do you have for sale? Well, I do have a good number of supplies, and between rations, food, and medicine, and antibiotics, of them doctors they'd be selling now. Quite a new fancy technology for them to be packing such good medicine and pills and such. Oh, we definitely need something like that, guys. What do you think? He might give us a good deal. We're friends. Uh, Blade stays quiet. I also have some, you know, components and such. Of, I got some uh, gunpowder, some shells, and oh, I also have some liquor. Blade, you don't use a gun, do you? Me? Nah. No, Blade. <laughs> no, I do not use a gun. Yeah, I didn't think so. Your friend yeah, thought he was yeah. talking to him. He's like, nah, I don't use them <laughs> fancy them fancy iron contraptions. I just go with my classic whip. And he kind of holds out like the side of his body as he has this like long twirled up whip on the side. Oh, wow. I could really use one of those. Do you think I could borrow that? I'm sorry. This is my wife's whip. I could never do such a thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Void. Well, Void whispers because he can't help himself. He goes kinky. What if I promise I'll give it back? I'm sorry. I just can't part with this. Alright, fair enough. Alright, but guys, medicine supplies. You guys need something, right? Um, What do you have? Like, what? So he goes over to the back and, like, hunkers over, like, the gate open as he shows you his supplies. So inside he has, like, bandages, alcohol, your basic medical supplies. And then he has, um, injections. He's like, yeah, I've gotten these new fangled injections. There's some kind of magical juice that allows you to heal up certain kinds of things in the body. I've never seen right, these how much kinds for of things everything? before. Everything? I mean, yeah. I mean, I take everything. I mean, I also have some little healing I mean, potions. Yeah, yeah. How much for all? How much for all of it? Oh, uh, that'd be somewhere in the range of like six hundred gold mm. from a whole stock. I mean, for everything. Yeah, that is a lot. Um. Yeah. Well, we need one, two. I mean, we need at least some bandages and healing potion. For sure. I mean. So let me explain what the injections are. The injections. The injections. Um, okay, so the injections, if you were here for the Crimson Bard, there are mutations in that campaign, but none of you are in that. Um, go watch that, by the way very fun shilling component here shilling over now so mm -hmm. injections work to repair certain parts of the body by doing certain things so there's a muscle injection that speeds the process up for healing muscles cartilage bone um blood cell count that sort okay. of thing they because the normal if you break a bone or you severely hurt a muscle in this adventure you have to do a medicine check to wrap it and then heal it, and then healing magic accelerates the healing process, but wears the body out. So how much are they, and how many of them does he have? Well, that's the main thing that's, like, keeping up the stock pretty high of 600. He has several yeah. crates. Um, he has about... Each injection itself is about worth 100. Okay. And he has four of them. We'll get two of those. Which one do you want? Because there's a... Uh, bone. There's muscle, bone, cartilage, yeah. and um, white cell count. Well, I did that medicine check. What did Blade need? Blade well, specifically I need. needs um, All right, fix the marrow. Blade. He needs blood and cartilage. Cartilage. Okay. Blood so, and cartilage. And 200 gold for the blood and cartilage. The yeah. other medical supplies are like at and most healing potions. At, uh, healing potions are um, it, it depends what you want. You want. There is lesser healing potion, so 1d4. One uh, greater, one lesser. Well, there's the, yeah, yeah. no. Um, there's normal. There's lesser, normal, greater, and exceptional. Okay. Lesser is a 1d4, normal is 1d6, greater is 1d8, and exceptional is 1d20. Okay. What does he have? He has around 25 lesser, um, I think like 5 normal, 3 greater, and 2 exceptional. Lesser is around like 50 copper apiece. Normal is like... 10 ish, 10, 11 silver. Greater is about 50 ish silver. And exceptional is about 3 gold pieces each. Uh, Blade wants to buy 3 exceptional potions. There's you only can't 2. Have them all. <laughs> There's only 2. Oh, Blade wants to buy 2. Alright. Okay, so you cough over the gold. And you yeah, are given um, 2 exceptional healing potions. Uh, I'll take. We'll get ten lesser. Okay, so you're gonna cough over the copper. Uh, ten lesser, and then what were the other ones? Extraordinary. It was extraordinary is gone. Extraordinary slash exceptional. You have greater and normal. Yeah, how many? Two graders, right? 
Um, there's two exceptional. There's about four or five graders and about ten or so normals. All right, four greater and ten lesser. How much is that? So I need to put a calculator up. <sighs> so ten lesser. Um, so should I just uh, create custom items for these potions? Um, no, you can just put them in your notes. Can I just give them like? Two gold? Like how much is it, like how much do I need to give him? Five gold? I'm calculating it in my head. Yeah. If it's like five gold or less, I don't give a shit. You can just make up like whatever. It's about in total if you wanted to pay in gold two gold. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Uh I'll just yeah, three gold. We'll call it even. Give or just take about a hundred or so copper. Yeah, we'll just give him three gold pieces. That's good. You give him three gold pieces, and he hands you the potions and the injections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna give the injections. Oh to... wait, no, the injections are two hundred, right? Total. Yeah, are you gonna buy the injections? Yeah, yeah, for blade, yes. Cough up two hundred. It's a hundred a piece. Yep, two hundred. Gone. So you now have the two injections of marrow and blood. Sorry, cartilage and blood. I'm a fucking idiot. Cartilage and blood. Cool. Are you going and, to inject them? And uh, yeah, I'll give them to Blade. So Blade, you see these large needles? They're about the size of hot dogs. All right, uh, uh, Blade, yeah. just close your eyes. Close your eyes, and it'll be dude, over in a second. Dude, what are you? What are you doing? I'm curing you. It's gonna restore your uh, leg that got fucking blown out. By a gun. Okay, Blade's gonna be very hesitant to even let you get near him, but he's he's just gonna put his hand away, just say, "Okay, you're my friend. I trust you." Yeah, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. And I yeah, put both the injectors into his fucking knee. <laughs> you you feel a little prick, and then some sharp pain. Blade, as you feel a fluid get injected into your body, as well as a second prick and sharp pain. As this happens now, you feel a little bit of numbness around your knee now, like you can move it a bit more. Instead of it taking a day and a half to recover with magic, it's going to take a couple hours. Okay. Because the injections are speeding along the process with the magic. Well, if that'll be all, then I'll be on my way. Uh, thank you so much. That was really helpful. No problem there, bucko. And we'll keep going our own way. As you keep... Clap, clip with clap. <laughs> as you keep going, you make your way to... Pull up the map again. You make your way to the railroad junction, between the river and the railroad. As you do so, there's no trains in sight at this time. But you can follow the railroad to Blackwater. However, however, you notice that there is, on the railroad track, like a lot of twisting and turning, and that it seems very far off. Versus the riverside that continues into Alabasta is only like a couple hundred feet away. Okay, uh, what was far off you said? I'm sorry, I zoned Blackwater is like a couple miles, like five okay. to six miles away, and Alabasta is like 300 feet away. You can see the front entrance gate barely. What? Hmm? Okay. Um, shit. Um, do we wait for the train uh, to get the black water? Night is also approaching. I'm totally down for some camping. It'll be fun. But, 
We we can't be bunk buddies without a bunk bed. Well, that's true. But I mean, it's already dark. I mean, might as well. What do you think, Alright. Right. Twice? Hmm? Yeah. What do you think? Camping or alabaster? Either one works. Alright, looks like we're camping. We'll wait for okay. the train. Okay. We'll set up a little campfire if we can. As night falls, I need to roll more initiative counters. By the way, Blade, you've gained a level. Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh... As you are all kind of getting ready for rest, you feel a slight rumbling beneath your feet. Anyone may want to make me a perception? Yes, I will. Or I will too. 23. Okay. Well. So, as you all hear this rumbling, you start to feel like it's getting louder and louder and louder and the ground starts to shake even more and more until eventually you see popping out of the ground is... let me give you a picture... let me post this in black in the OOC chat Purple worm, nice. Uh, what now? Purple worm. Oh. Fun. So. Not fun, we are all dead. No, wait, where is Lyceria? She was supposed to be here by now? <laughs> so, you all see this giant purple worm come out of the ground and snake up as it lets out a guttural shriek as it fills the air. Roll me your initiative. Um, I don't think that... Okay. Are we actually yeah, doing this without... Nine. PCs? Yeah. Yep, 27. Yo, nice. Dude, you're rolling good. All right. I mean, I have a plus nine to initiative, so... Yeah, but still... Just wondering, how long were we traveling for? Do, uh, do I... Has it been a long rest, technically? No, it's been a short rest of four hours. Oh, short rest. Sorry, short rest. Yes, perfect. So I get my second win back. Can I use that? Actually, no. I'll use that later. Okay. Let me make the initiative counter. Bro, we're so fucked, you guys don't even understand. This is one of the <laughs> things I... This, no, no, this is the one, one of the things I tried to wild shape into in the, in the other campaign. Um... I think it has 200 and something HP, um, multi-attack, and does a lot of necrotic damage or acid damage if it eats you, so. Blade, yeah. Yeah, twice. Okay. So theater of the mind, as this was a random encounter, couldn't make a map in time. I guess it... one minute. Uh. Um... I'm gonna yell out though. <laughs> Twice, use your fucking gun. <laughs> use your... Twice just smirks. 
<laughs> showtime. <laughs> well, not even showtime. Could just be I'm not gonna shoot a fucking bullet time. Might not. Might not. Let me. I'll just dimension door me and blade out. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm gonna pull up a coin flip. <laughs> okay, let me um give you the owl bear thing. Oh, I was already an owl bear. Still here. I'm a book. Which uh, yes, colors go Gengels. Go Gengels send me. They're pretty fucking big. Yeah. Holy fuck. I assume second wind doesn't help me heal my legs, does it? Um... No. Okay. Just getting your colors appropriate. I, I'm gonna flip a coin now. Um, what are we saying? Heads or tails? Heads, Someone just always said. heads. Heads. Okay, heads twice helps. That is very unfortunate. So, so twice has a death wish. You're all over here, kind of around this campfire. This thing kind of pops out of the ground right here. So I have the initiative counter in the OC. It is Purple Worm Twice Blade Miara. Best of luck to you! Good luck. Twice, you're up first. Oh no, it's the Purple Worms. Purple Worms first. Whoopsie! It is going to... The new level 10 character. So as it gets up and it makes its mound, it's going to open up its mouth. And as you see a purplish fumigating breath kind of coming from it, I need you all to make me a con save. Twenty-two. Sixteen. Uh, I'm gonna add my bardic. One second. Roll me a one d ten. Yep. One second. Seven plus was that nine? Sixteen. Okay, you all make it as it lets out a fumigating purplish smoke. None of you are affected by its poison breath. Oh. That's it good. is good. now going to whip up its tail from behind one of you. Let me see if it hits who it's going to hit. Or if it just stabs something. Okay, you see the tail come up around behind you that stabs into the ground again, missing you. Who? Misses all of you. Oh, shit. Okay, good. It the missed. The plot armor is strong. Good, good shit, good shit. It is now your turn twice. Uh, twice is first off gonna use second wind. Um, heal myself a bit more. Let's see, where is my last features? One sec. Uh, second wind. Let's see. That's 16 health points, perfect. Um, and then... Let's see. Oh, I can you can I use cure wounds on myself to heal my legs? You can heal them, but they won't be unbroken. Cure wounds doesn't unbreak them. Cure wounds no, heal speeds, speeds up the process. Up. I told you this. It speeds up the process, okay. but does not heal them. Um, you would you would reduce it by a couple hours. 
Okay. I'm gonna cast shield on myself then. Okay. Um, which would increase my AC by I don't know how much. Let's see. Five. Wait, no. Roll. Um, yeah, plus five. So I have a plus five to AC. Twenty-two. Perfect. Okay, and that's my turn. Okay, Blade. What is? What are you gonna do? You see this giant fucking worm in front of you. Yeah, no hesitation. Blade goes into a rage. He's he's seen too much shit in the past twenty-four hours. <laughs> you have half. Up to here. You have. Oh, you've. If it's been four hours, your legs are healed. Okay. Oh, was I supposed to take a short rest? We yeah. Did. We all okay. did. Oh, we took a four hour short rest. I forgot about that. Yeah. You probably didn't need to heal yourself. But, but your leg is healed now. Just know that there's it's a weak spot, so if you get hit there again, it has an easier time breaking. Oh, I gained some health back, so that's good. Okay, you're going to rush up to it? Uh, uh, first, I'm going to actually... Uh, I want to use. Where is it? I have something that I can fear. Oh, intimidating presence. Which is a. I think it's just a feature. Oh no, it's it's an action. Okay, I want to use this as an action. Uh, you can frighten a creature that you can see within thirty feet. If it can see and hear you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw DC ten. Will be frightened until the end of my next turn. Um, I use my action to extend duration each turn. Unless it moves out of line of sight or more than 60. Does an 18 feet. pass? 18 does pass. It just kind uh, of okay, looks so at you action, and doesn't range. do anything. Okay. Uh, and I think that's all I can do, yeah. I mean, do you want to move up to it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, f I thought I was doing that. Use your token to move. Oh. Uh, so is each square five? Um, yes, each square is five feet. Well, it's a big dumb idiot. He's gonna go right to the fucking face of it. Miara? Did I get it right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it right. Yes, it is Hold your on. turn. Cool. Um, I'll cast Mirror Image on myself, making three copies of myself. And then I will, um, I'll just stand right behind Blade. <laughs> okay, the worm sees you getting close to it as it closes its mouth, and you see its face kind of contort and twist almost its teeth into a drill as it begins to whirl up into a twisting motion it's going to burrow into you blade and miara okay wait both of us shit well that's a gargantuan creature does a 22 hit so. you no we got that close yes in a radius uh, of oh. in a radius of 30 feet i mean <laughs> it can't hit one of my mirror images it just hits all of them So, it goes up and it burrows into the ground. Um, you're going to be taking... T how much damage? Let's see. Oh, what kind of damage? Piercing and bludgeoning, because you're getting pushed into rock and being pierced. I guess I take half for both. Well, it's just all at once. Okay, so then I take half. So you're taking 11 damage on the initial hit, but it's going down... 25 feet, so now I have to roll extra dice. You're taking 100 damage, 111 damage in total as it pierces into the ground, diving and twisting, burrowing you further into the sand with it. And they're dead. So, no, 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 I take half of that. Um, I'm dead. So that's what, what, 55? You're unconscious. Oh, yes. 
Estimation? No, I'd be on that close. You are unconscious right now. You have to roll death save yeah. to be dead. I know, I know. It then burrows away from you and comes back up onto the sand. You're the only target left twice. It has moved closer to you. I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, he's chilling. Yeah, I'm saying like as it comes out twice, it has moved directly in front of you. <laughs> okay, twice takes his um, hunting rifle. Since I'm not dying to a fucking worm, places it under his chin. No, 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 I'm kidding. Um, he's gonna point the. Actually, no, he's just gonna fuck. Uh, how how close is this thing? It's right next to you. Right next to him. It's staring down at you. I just cast shield him on himself again. Um. Plus five AC and. Um. One second. Um. Hold on. And he's also. No, that's it. He's just gonna cast shield on himself. Double shield? Uh, no, shield only lasts for one turn, right? You just so. cast a shield, and then you're casting shield again? I cast a oh. shield last round. You just said you're casting it again, and then you're waiting for a bonus action. I, I don't have a bonus action, so I'm just casting shield once. Okay. It's now your turn, Blade, as you sit next to your friend who is unconscious, bleeding, and looks very, very heavily damaged. Blade ignores it. He runs straight to the thing that basically killed his friend. You're going to have to climb up whole. Okay. You're gonna uh, you just ignore your dying friend. Yes. Okay then. Um. Roll me in acrobatics. Fourteen. Oof. You are moving up at half speed. A. What is that? That was. Fifty foot hole. Oh, fucking hell! So it's gonna take okay, him three so turns I, to so climb up. Yeah. I would use a health potion on them. If only we didn't just buy like a thousand healing potions. I know, right? If only. <laughs> So you're climbing up the wall. That's your turn. Unless you want to use an action or a bonus action or something. It's action, action surge or dash action to double your speed, your movement. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it costs an action to drink one of my potions. It costs you a bonus action to drink a potion. That's fine. I don't need to use one right now. Which means I'm just moving my 20 feet, not dashing. I'm going to drink the potion. You're gonna drink it or you're not gonna drink it? I'm gonna drink it and not dash. Just move 20 feet. But your dash is an action and it's a bonus action to drink the potion. Isn't dash bonus action? No, dash is an action. Oh, my apologies. Okay, yes. I'm 40 feet and I heal. 1d. No, it's a d20. Yeah. You sure you're healing for 12? 12. So you are healed up for 12 HP. Ah, uh, Miara. That's save. <laughs> That's save. Pass. Yeah, one success. Did, did, they, did they roll yet? They just rolled one successful save. Now we gotta wait for the next turn. Oh, it showed up. Yeah, it didn't show up for me either, but oh well. Showed up for me. Uh, purple worm. <laughs> well, I didn't roll anything. Did oh, you roll it? Oh, roll me, roll me a d20. Just a d20. Yeah, I, got, I was like, I'll take a success, but like... Yeah. No, that I'm means a 19. Yeah. You saved yourself. You're right. <laughs> uh, do you crit on a 19 or no? No. I don't. No. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. 
You got one save. Cool, cool. As you are clinging to life, the purple worm is going to bellow out a purple smoke to you again. Make me another con save twice. 19. And you pass. As you see that you pass, it begins to almost swallow something like it was eating the dirt that it just consumed. I'm right about to get swallowed, let's go! Upon doing so, you see its skin kind of shut a little bit, as it's almost like it's hardening its skin around itself. Okay. Twice is going... Actually, no, it's not even my turn yet. It's your turn now. Oh, Twice is going to crawl towards the... the worm. Towards the mouth of the worm, go in. Deciding it's probably weaker on the inside. You would have to climb up it. Why? Its mouth is swallowing dirt, isn't it? Swallowing the dirt it just ate on the drill. Uh, how 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 high would I have to climb? Well, if you're gargantuan, I'd say. Let's see. How long are you? Surely it's like mostly. Surely it's like mostly burrowed in the ground, or it's not standing vertical. It's either horizontal or mostly burrowed in the ground. Half of it is burrowed in the ground, and it is a length of two hundred feet. It's, that's not good. So it's a hundred foot climb, and you have two broken legs, so you're moving at half speed. Mm. God damn it. Okay. Um... Its mouth is open right now, so I guess you could climb up. It might potentially burrow again, and you'd be stuck on it, so. Fuck it. You know what? Why not? Twice is gonna. Start trying to climb the, the worm. Roll me an acrobatics. Acrobatics, okay. Nat 20. You were able to climb the worm at half speed. I'm going to use my dash action. So, how far can you move at half speed? 15. So, 30 feet up. Just 70 yes. more feet to go. Perfect. Blade, still moving at half speed. Why is Blade half speed? He's climbing a wall. Oh. A wall that is made out of dirt and sand. Yeah. Roll me another athletics. Hold on. Three for athletics. Yep. No, that no, that was acrobatics. You said acrobatics. I asked you athletics. Thirteen. Okay, you are still climbing at half speed. Okay, I go forty feet up. Half speed. What is your? That's forty feet. I'm dashing. Oh. So you make it out of the hole. As you're up out of the hole, you can see that your friend with two broken legs is trying to climb this beast as it kind of looks down at it. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate Frenzy as a bonus action and just keep that for my next action. For next turn. Okay. Miara, roll me a second. Save. Eight. First That's failure. Fail. Just out of curiosity, this probably won't work, but can I mend? Can I use mending on my own legs? Mending only repairs clothing. It. Unless used with a high enough medicine check. Can I try? Actually, that's no, not my turn. But, but on that my would turn, be I'm used for that. that'd be used for stitches, not your muscle. Damn. If only I'd gotten a syringe. Hmm. I'm broke. 
So it is now the worm's turn. It's <laughs> going to look down over at you. <laughs> and it's going to try to, like, swipe at you to pick you off. Ooh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Uh, yeah. If it hits, it'll hurt. Because it'll be taking fall damage. Ooh. I'm not that high up. It's fine. Oh, can you go up? Oh, never mind. Does it's a... Ten hit? No. Okay, it missed you. Doesn't it have a multi-attack? Yeah, hold on, I gotta make another roll. Begging for punishment, aren't you? Another ten. Uh, no. Anything under seven. And then a twenty-six. Oh, yeah, that hits. You are hit for nine damage as it swipes at you. And then let me roll. How how far up did you move again? How 30 many feet? feet? 30 feet. Okay, 3d10s. 3d10 damage? No, I gotta roll 3d10s for damage. Oh. That's 26 damage. That no, you take no, as I'm soon right. as you land on the back. Okay, okay. My turn? Yeah, your turn. I'm gonna go back to climbing it. Why don't you just shoot it? Because I, 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 I flipped a coin. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so... Well, I mean, this, thing, this thing has like plus 28 fucking strength, right? It's not... It's not gonna die. Like 28 AC or something like that, so it's, it's like ridiculous. Um, no, yeah, it doesn't. So go it has a pretty low AC. Oh. Oh well. Climb. It's fucking giant. It's... So, as you're climbing it, you move up another... You, you gonna do a dash? Fifteen. Yeah, another dash, so that's gonna be another thirty feet up. Okay, you moved up thirty feet. <laughs> I got this, guys. Trust me. Okay, Blade, your turn. You're about... Forty-ish... No, you're about... Twenty... Yeah, every you, you you understand five feet every square. Go right there, right next to that motherfucker. You gonna you gonna swing? And, uh, yes, and because I'm frenzied, I'm going to swing with my great axe three times because two attacks per action plus frenzy as a bonus action. I can I can use a uh, yep. strength single yep. melee yep. weapon. Hit. Uh, not nat 20. Hit. 25. Hit. It only has an AC of 8. Okay. Huh? Uh, yeah. I figured. It's, sure? it's what? huge. It, it's fucking huge. Uh, and then, because I am raging, I believe... It's, yeah, plus 3 damage to all of these. Give me one second. 16, 10, 26. 26. 41. 38. 41. 26 plus 15. Oh, yeah. So you slash into this beast for 41 damage, you slice into it three times. It roars and it shakes a little bit. Roll me an acrobatics check. Uh, Acro acrobatics or athletics? Um, acrobatics check for twice. Oh. For me? Oh. To hang yeah. on. Oh, right. That is a nine. You fall off. Reduce and damage. I don't know why you just won't stay on the ground. Because I want to climb into its mouth, I want to be like... I want to climb in and just kill it from the inside out. 18 damage. Oh, that's me and death saves. Okay. So, you're unconscious now. Miara. 
Roll me a death save. Oh, I rolled a two. Second oh. fail. Ugh. This is not looking good. No. Someone could use the potion to solve almost all of these. Please don't blame me. It's fine, he's in, a, he's in a rage frenzy. There's nothing, you can't stop that, it's fine. You gotta stick to it, you gotta stick to what he is. He's a barbarian, he doesn't think straight when he's like that. Okay, um... Purple worm. Purple worm's time. So... I gotta roll... Okay, what would you do in this scenario, purple worm? Probably kill the guy, probably attack the guy who slashed at him. Uh, make me a constitution save. Blade. Who? Oh. Do I have, do I have to make one even though I'm like on the ground already? No, it's not looking at you. Okay. You pass. It ends its turn. My turn. That save roll, let's see. Nat one, let's go. Failure. Oh, that's two death fail. That's, that's failed already, failures. isn't it? That's, that's one. Th no, that's a one fail. What do you mean it's a nat one? It's, it's still a one, one fail. Since when? Because I'm telling you, it's a one fail. Uh, okay. Sure. Do you, Do you want to die that fast? Not really. Okay, then take your DM giving you one fail instead of two. Okay. Argues with the DM. I want to die faster, damn it. Blade, do you have any conjecture about that? <laughs> I'm waiting for my turn. It is your turn. Blade, it's your turn. Yeah. I rolled three. I hit him three times. Okay. Uh, hit, hit, hit. Roll me your three damages. Twelve, fifteen, twenty-seven, eight, thirty-eight. If I'm adding correctly. Thirty-seven. Okay, 37. So, you slash into the beast again for 37 damage as you're cutting closer and closer past the skin and flesh. <sighs> okay, Miara, roll me your save. Uh, seven. Oh, that's a rip. I guess I'll use my inspiration. Well, a better time, right? Yeah, you can use your inspiration of a 1d10. Two. That's a nine. Oh, that's still a fail. You a... fail for a third yeah. time. You have approximately about 30 minutes before you give in to death. Okay. Okay. Blade, as you have cut into this thing, you are hitting its weak point now, as you're cutting into it. You're hitting one of its vital organs. Whose turn is it now? The purple worms! Oh. It, uh, it sees that you're cutting into it, doesn't quite like it. Um... Drill it... shot. I need to flip a coin to see how it reacts. Oh, uh, watch it be a drill again. That's so fucked. It's running away. It drills into the other side of the tracks and just burrows the fuck away. Encounter over. Oh, okay. Are you coming out of a rage state? As you come out of a rage state, you realize you left your friend who's dying in a hole. 
Did I roll another death save? You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should he... Okay. Let's see. Another nat one. <laughs> so, Blade, you have a choice. Will you go try to check on Miara, knowing that you left them there already pretty much dying? Or are you going to check on twice first? Miara is my best friend. I have to go to Miara. Okay. You gonna dash? Sure, if I have to. Well, he's gonna mm -hmm. have to climb down, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He could jump it and take the damage. I'm not doing that. What what would be what would be the check if I were to jump and negate the damage? Acrobatics plus survival. Damn, nothing athletics. Well, acrobatics makes sense. I understand that. Um, yeah, no. I'll just dash down, I guess. You're about forty feet down. You could jump, and you would take 1d10 damage if you were to jump at this point. No. Okay. I'm just gonna keep running. Um, so you get down there and you're almost there. Miara, I need you to roll me one last d20 so I mean the minutes you have left. Sure. Don't you love it when the game gets two nat ones in a row? 19. You have a couple, you got about five minutes left. Blade, you're, yeah. da you're running towards them. What are you going to do? You have a couple minutes remaining to do something. Yes, so... Here's my question. What exactly we do? Is there any, there's no check I can make that would stabilize them at this point, correct? Here's what you can do. You have a healing so potion. You, have, potions. you, you yeah. have you have potions that can heal people. You can make a medicine check to try to stabilize them if you don't have that, or if you had healing magic, you could also do that as well. Okay, I'll use my other D twenty potion then. Okay. Roll me the D twenty. Two. You are back up to one HP. Oh no. Miara, you are back up to an HP, but due to your near-death experience, mm -hmm. um, I want you to lower your constitution by two, permanently. Your score. Uh, okay. So instead of an 18 constitution, it's a 16 constitution. Alright. As well as you were just near deathing, you, for the briefest moments before you died, you saw Blade turn his back on you, run and climb up the wall, and then as you just wake up, you see that Blade has rushed towards you, and you yeah. are now alive at one HP. All right, I fixed my modifier. All right. Cool. <laughs> Play? Uh, you feel yeah. you feel like death worn over as your body is extremely weak you can't really move you feel groggy you I, feel immense pain uh, uh, I, I, I'm, just... gonna, I'm, I'm gonna set you down now um, I, I think Twice needs some help, too. Twice, roll me another save. Try to head over to Twice. Twice okay, is dead. Okay, let's see. Let's I think, right? Oh, no, I just no, want to, like, no, get no. out of this hole. Can uh, I just, like, dimension Doris out of this hole? Like, I don't want to be in here. First off, Twice, what was your d20 roll? Um, let me see. Wow, the D&D &D gods really want me dead. <laughs> are, you, are you dead? Guess who rolled another nat one? <laughs> Okay. Sure. How many how many failures is that? That's already three fails, and then I just rolled an extra nat one, so. Are you rolling these? So you rolled your third 
fail this turn, right? Yes, my third my third nat one in a row. Okay. You can dimension door them out of the hole if you want. Yeah, I want to me and Blade. But you I would, can I want, like because you're because you're weak. Hole. You you dimension yeah. door yourself out of the hole, but you're weak, so you can only get to the top of the hole. Yeah, that's all I want to get to. I just don't want to get there. You got to the top of a hole, and now make me a d20 uh, twice. Okay. Five. This is to see. You have a minute remaining. Damn, dude. Wait, go. Uh, yeah, Blade dashes over. You dash I over. Know. And you'll have to make me some sort of check to resuscitate him. I'll have to do that check. You'll have, have to make me a medicine check. Uh, he's dead. Four. You die twice. I. That. Fuck. GG's. <laughs> huh. Ah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working Wait, on a new character. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna start working on a new character. Yeah. As this hits. Hello. Oh, uh, one minute. Um, I kind of have to go. Okay, so as this happens, you see twice die in your arms, and from a distance, Miara, you see twice fall to the ground, limpless and cold. We end session here.